Man, one of the weirdest conversations I've ever had with somebody as a bartender, man. Uh, this lady overheard me talking to a friend. We were cracking jokes, man. And but granted, I may have been high. It's a good possibility. <laughs> uh, but I told my fellow bartender that I didn't think I could have sex with uh, someone who was an amputee or lost a limb. And the way I said it may have been a little bit crass. Uh, I said I could never fuck a chick with a nub. <laughs> Referring to her limb, whichever one it may be. And I know nub may not be the politically correct term, but it's a stub, it's a nub, it's one of the above. <laughs> I'm a poet. Now you know it. No, I didn't mean to be rude. I was trying to actually be sincere, man, because it would freak me out. I would like, I would look down at it and be like, oh, damn. That's what a nub looks like. And you'd want to touch it, but then you don't want to touch it because then you'd feel like a total dick. Hey, can I touch your nub? She's like, what is wrong with you, man? I don't know. I'm high. I'm freaked out at your nub. But the lady overheard it, man, and she started going off and she said, excuse me, I want to talk to you. Yeah, you're an asshole. You're a misogynist. And again with the misogynist, I was in there calling me a massage therapist. I'm like, a massage therapist? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, wait, wait, why is this lady calling me an asshole? Do I know you? Have I done something to you or your daughter? Because I'm looking at you. I know I didn't do something to you, lady. What are you, 350, 400 pounds? And yes, I am judgmental against fat women. No, but she overheard that. And she was like, I have a friend who lost a limb. Oh, it's probably because you ate it, fatty. <laughs> you know, when I'm with you, man, all hands and feet inside the vehicle. Because you look like you need a snack. But yeah, she got upset because I couldn't fuck a chick with a nub, man. And I said, hey, 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 hey. I didn't say I wouldn't have sex with a girl with a nub. I just said, I don't think I could. The reason being because I would stare at it, especially if it was like a leg nub and you're having sex and you've got one leg here and then over here is like the fake, the, well, not even a fake leg, it's just a nub because she's like, I just gotta be free. Well, okay, so I'm looking at this leg and you try not to look at this leg, man, but come on, what are you gonna look at, man? I mean, I know you'd want to look at her vagina because it'd be sweet and, some, and her titties, but you, it's human nature, man. You would stare at that nub. And then you would try to look for the center of the nub where like the skin went in. And that's why I said, I don't think I could. Cause I would be, I would be distracted, man. And at my age, I gotta do all I can do to keep an erection so I stay focused. If I lose track on your nub, <laughs> it's over. It's over. And that's all I was trying to say. And then 280 Katie, man, had called me a massage therapist and called me an asshole. I said, you know what, no. You cut off. You cut off. All food and drink products will not be made available to you. Yeah. No, man. I didn't think it was that bad. I, see, man, you, you try to be honest with people, man. They want to call you a bunch of names like you're a misogynist or a homophobe or a racist or you just hate fat people. It's just not right, man. If you don't, if you're not prepared to hear some crazy shit, then you shouldn't eavesdrop because majority of the society probably talks worse than I do. <laughs>